Today we are taking a journey to a country you honestly may never have heard of or heard very little of. A relatively unknown country located in Central Asia to many Westerners especially. This country is Turkmenistan. It's a predominantly desert covered land once ruled by the Soviet Union nestled between Uzbekistan and Iran as well as Afghanistan. Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and I found some pretty interesting and surprising facts about this country that were pretty much unknown to me, had no idea. So I'm pretty excited to share these facts with you. Okay, so let's jump into this episode, starting at fact number 10. Turkmenistan is actually made up of 70% desert. Now, if you do make it there on a trip to visit, you'll notice that the majority of the country is covered in sand. It's quite the geographical feature. The Karakum Desert is the name and it is actually known to be one of the most fertile deserts in the entire world. But what may really blow your mind though is that the entire area actually used to be the home of a giant sea 30 million years ago, is what they say. Now for the next fact, Turkmenistan actually declared independence from the Soviet Union on October 27th, 1991. In 1925, Turkmenistan became a constituent republic of the USSR and was then ruled for 67 years. The talk of independence began in the year 1990 when the Supreme Soviet of Turkmenistan declared sovereignty as a nationalist response to potential exploitation by Moscow. Now, the country was not yet ready for independence, but a man by the name of Saparmurad Nayazov, who was the communist leader at the time, who then became president, preferred to preserve the Soviet Union. In October 1991, there was a referendum that was called that ended up approving independence though. Now, I'm not sure if this next fact surprises me or not, to be honest, since I've really heard of anybody talk about Turkmenistan, but it's actually one of the least visited countries in the entire world. Back in 2012, it was reported that only 8,900 visitors came to the country, and in 2018, only 13,000 visitors came. Now, when you compare this to the 15 million visitors to Vietnam in 2018, for example, you can see there's a massive difference. But one of the main reasons for this is due to the country's lengthy and expensive visa process. It's not due to the lack of things to see or to do in the country, though. Also, similar to Turkmenistan's ally, China, most of the internet browsers and apps that we know in the Western world and other places are actually blocked in Turkmenistan. For example, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, just to name a few, yet you can't find them in the country. If you do visit the country though, you can gain access to a VPN, but even then, the country is cracking down on people who use them. Many say that the government doesn't want the outside world to find out too much about what is actually going on in the country and vice versa for their citizens. For fact number six, let's talk about their many Silk Road cities and also UNESCO heritage sites. Turkmenistan's Silk Roads may not be as famous as that of their neighbor Uzbekistan, but they are unique and very authentic in their very own way. The sites tell a story about the role that the region played as a major trading hub along the Silk Road between the 8th to the 13th centuries. In fact, between the 11th to 12th centuries, Merv, which was an ancient lost city in Turkmenistan, was the largest of the Silk Road urban centers. Now let's talk about the capital city of Turkmenistan, Azgabat. It's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the highest density of marble buildings in the entire world. The city is known for its grand boulevards, fountains, statues, and glistening white buildings, thanks to the building boom brought about by former president Saparmurat Nayozov. This was right after the country gained independence from the Soviet Union back in the year 1991. The city literally sparkles under the hot desert sun. The next up is a pretty important fact. Literacy and education is a very important thing in Turkmenistan. It is the rule that every single child has to go to school. The government feels that this is the best way to curb any sort of extremism within the country. And of course, that makes sense. It's a very close-knit community in Turkmenistan, so they want to make sure that their citizens are literally on the exact same page when it comes to what the country is about. 
Now for fact number three, Turkmenistan had their first president in the year 1991, like I mentioned, and he ruled until 2006. But check this out. During his time in power, he became known for making a string of strange laws. This is why Turkmenistan is known as the land of unusual laws. Now, what if I told you that some of those laws were, there were no operas allowed, no gold teeth, or you couldn't wear any spandex? Yeah. I don't think you would believe me, but that's actually true. He based a lot of his laws around preserving Turkmen culture. And part of the reason behind so many of these laws was because he wanted full control. He even changed the days of the week to match the names of his family members. Talk about obsession over control. Now, many of these laws, though, have been changed since the new president has taken power. And his name is a mouthful, Berdi Muhammadu. But some of these laws still remain and some new ones have come up. For example, black cars are now forbidden in favor of white cars because white is a color that brings good luck. Moving on now to fact number two. Turkmenistan has the sixth largest oil and gas reserve in the world. As of January 2016, the country had an estimated proven natural gas reserve of 265 trillion cubic feet. It is the sixth largest natural gas reserve holder in the entire world, according to the Oil and Gas Journal, and was among the top 15 dry natural gas producers in 2015. In more recent years, though, the sale of their oil has dropped drastically and their economy has started to struggle as China and Russia are buying less of it. And the fact that I want to end you off on at number one is if you're looking to travel and experience more of Asia, well, I do have a little bit of not so exciting news for you. Turkmenistan is the most expensive country in Central Asia and one of the hardest countries to enter in Central Asia. And one of the big reasons for this is because the country has an extensive visa process, like I mentioned earlier in this episode. In order to get a visa in Turkmenistan, you need to book a tour package and packages range in price upwards of $2,000. So visitors are not allowed to visit the country alone. You need to have a tour guide with you at all times. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you for this episode on 10 surprising facts about Turkmenistan. I really hope you guys learned something new about Turkmenistan and feel just a little bit more educated on the country's fascinating history and very, very unique one. One of my favorite countries that we've done here on FTD Facts. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like before you head out. Also, check out some of our related videos. I'll link to them for you below in the video description section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't done so already to be notified every time we post new videos. Stay tuned here every single week on FTD Facts to learn about our world, culture, religions of our world, and the people within our planet. All right, guys, until next time, stay awesome, stay educated. See you soon.